Hey guys, it's Joe B, and I've been playing a lot of Dungeons & Dragons lately, so I wanted to go over what I've been doing with how do I put my characters together using the DDO Character Planner. I'll post a link to it, to it in the comments, and then you can play with yourself. But for an example, I'd like to put together uh, a ranged build that I have been thinking about doing. It's pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. It's going to be a 15 Artificer, 5 Rogue. So what you got up here is you've got the ability to load a file that you've been working on, uh, save a file, save as, save with a different name, print I never use, export is nice because when you finish it up we'll use that in a minute, uh, clear is just a start over, it's like the reset but you still want to keep it open, and then this is a TR button, I've never used that. So I'll start level one, uh, you work your way down these in each level that you pick, whatever the options are they're here, they're listed. So I'm going to go, um, I'll go Lawful Good, and this is where you put your name, your surname, uh, kind of irrelevant. Past Lives, when I'm building, I normally put in one or two just so that I can ensure that it gives me the full point build. And then I move on to the race, uh, I always play Drow. Initial class is going to be Artificer and then I'm going to set my abilities. This is going to be an intelligence to damage, so I start by maxing this all the way out. And the rest is going to go into con. In some cases, depending on what tomes and stuff are going to be, if you want to grab the dodge, depending on your armor, I'll go to 13. So dex 13 just to give the dodge possibility and the rest into con. This is generally how I build all of my range stuff. Um, Dex is going to be 10 to 13, Con is going to be max possible, and then, well, either Dex is maxed or Intelligence is maxed. Uh, unless you're going with like a Muncture, then you could possibly do Wisdom max. Uh, skill points, I normally don't touch these because they, they're too time intensive and you're just trying to build a character so you can get to playing, but you, are, you can put your initial points and your leveling points into these feats is really where I want to plan my stuff the most. So, if I'm going Artificer, I'm probably going to go all the way down and start by picking up Rapid Shot or Rapid Reload. It's going to be down here. And for those I need Point Blank, so you got to start with Point Blank Shot. Okay. Spells. Uh, again, I normally don't load these, but it's nice to load a couple if you want to just keep track of what you were aiming to get. The reason why I'm taking 15 Artificer is I want to get the Deadly Weapons at 15. So that's really the only spell I'm looking for. And moving on to level 2. What will happen to level 2? Still Artificer, Skill Point Spell, okay. And level 3. You can also use the buttons over here. Uh, if I wanted to skip to what the levels were going to be. I'm going to level 2. There was a way to switch the levels. Oh, it's not showing. Okay, so I'll go to level 3, and it'll probably show up later. Uh, feats, okay. The skills, there it is, feats. Alright, so this is the feats for level 3, and I'm still going after like rapid shot and rapid reload. I think we automatically got rapid reload. This, this box lists what you've currently got. If you take something in this level, it won't show up in this box until you click the next level. This is the base attack bonus. So let's scroll down, scroll down. Mm, precise shot is going to be really good too. But we got to continue with what is definitely needed, and that's rapid shot. I have toyed with builds of adding in two levels of ranger just to get that for free, but I haven't really found a reason to add the two rangers other than what rapid shot and maybe taking four to go to. Well, that was for the two I've been fighting also. So yeah. It's just not an advantage that losing take losing the levels taken as ranger. So let's continue on. Uh, level four. Artificer ability increase at this level. So we're gonna go one more on intelligence. Uh, skill point spells feats. There we go. Class feat. And this is where you could or could not go. Like there's a fork. You can start picking construct essence to get self heals. If you're taking this epic and you're going to have the cocoon or even go into um, Unyielding Sentinel and end up with Resurrection or um, 
what's that other one? The the Paladin one, the, the Lay on Hands. You may not need to do the Construct Essence. Let's see if there was anything else. I can only pick the yellow ones for the class feet, which is nice. They separate it for you. Oh, precise shot. Gonna need that. Okay, level five, art. Six feet. Actually, level five is is kind of where you can cap out at Battle Engineer on the tree. Now, of course, you can't reach that cap until twelve. They don't let you start taking that spending points in that until twelve. So you don't have to switch over to grab another tree just yet. But it is something to think about. Okay, so scrolling down, uh, dodge is still an option. We made that a possibility. This is not going to be a heavy armor build. This is going to be medium. I'm going to go with... Let's see here. Toughness is also still a possibility. I'm going to pick dodge. I'll put that in on the list. Um, actually, you know what else could work? Empower, maximize, and extend are also going to be big options for the art. So let's throw an extend. Because if we check the spells, and you scroll the list, we can already hit level 3 spells. So Stone Skin on Extend would be really nice at level 6. Okay, 7. 7 is where I'm going to throw in... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go with that yet. Okay, so we'll stay with Art, and then we'll go Spells. At any one of these, you can throw in your row. 6, 7, 8, 9... And you're going to want to in order to start grabbing the mechanic tree. But you've also got to go Harper in order to get some int damage. So there's a lot of places you're going to need to be spending your points right now. But just for the example, we'll take this. Art 7, skill, spells, okay. 8, art, ability, int, increase on intelligence, and feats. Another class feat. This time, I am going to take the Construct Essence because I do want to start looking at self-healing. Uh, spells, where are we at on spells? Level, still at level 3, okay. 9, I'm going to take one rogue. And then I'll go feats. And the reason for rogue is at any time you can click the enhancements here, and it'll show you the trees. I, I want to start opening up the rogue enhancement trees. So I'm going to take one rogue right now. And then feats, oh, where are we still working on feats? Dodge is still an option. We're not going to get too much dodge in our medium armor, but it could still be handy. Improved Faint is probably a really good choice right now. That does work ranged. Um, precision. Precision is really good. Precision and Archer Stance. You know what? I'm going to stay with the Archer Stance. Take the precision out, and I'll go with, it's going to be either toughness, dodge, empower, or maximize. And I think, empower and maximize do affect healing, so I'm going to take empower right now, since I just took construct on last level, and then we'll go nine. Art, okay. No, uh, level 9 art, but level 10 total heroic. 11 is going to be. We're going to take Rogue. 12. Art, ability, intelligence, feats. Hmm. Improve critical range, yeah. There we go. 13. That's that's going to be a staple. In general, you're going to take your improved critical at 12, regardless of what build you're using. Sometimes earlier, depending on your base attack bonus. And then 13, uh, 14. Now I'm going to build the art all the way up to level 15 so I can get the deadly weapon spell, which is really the whole key of going this high. Class feat, if the improved construct essence, yeah, there it is. So this is going to increase the healing ability. And 16 click click beats. At this point, it's going to be 
probably maximize. It could be dodge, improve, faint, or maximize for this level. I'm going to take maximize for the self healing. And it's 13 art, 16. Ability increase, intelligence, spells. This is the key level here. Spells, spells. You may want to go straight to 1 to 15 to get the deadly weapons two levels earlier, but you will sacrifice getting the rogue tree and you'll have points possibly spilling. But at this point, at level 15 art, I can hit level 6 and grab the deadly. If you want to go higher, you'll get stuff like Blade, blade Barrier, um, the big repair here, the reconstruct. And that may be an option. But at this point for this build, I'm going to stay at 15. I'm going to backfill the rest with Rogue. So Feats. Uh, rogue is going to be... I'll drop down here and take a, a Toughness. But an Improved Faint is a, is a strong possibility here. 19 Rogue. And 20 Rogue. Ability intelligence up and that's going to be that at this point i like to do save as and then just save it as art rogue a or art rogue one just in case this thing like closes itself out or there's a problem or i want to play with the enhancements but at level 20 then i go down and click the enhancements button and i start to fill in what would have have what i would have chosen throughout uh, let's see. I'll go Battle Engineer, and I'm going to increase this tree, obviously for the range crossbow. Accept, and filling in these. What we want to do is build ourselves up here. So I'm going to take a couple of those to open up the core trees. Continuing with the core tree, extra damage. Um, Bells to the lead, filling that in. Core tree is going up. More on the crossbow. Grab one int here. And more on the action boost. One more on the open. There we go. That unlocked the next tier. So we're taking tier five crossbow training. And here it is. Battle mastery. I'm going to take the fuselage because it is really cool when you activate it. It sounds cool. It is cool. And we've got infused weapons. We'll take more core. Now at this point you do have to decide. Of course you probably already decided beforehand. If you were going to go for a tier 6. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you were going to go for tier 5 battle engineer. Or if you were going to split. I'm probably going to take a quick break here from working on the battle engineer at 25 because at this point this is what I would have looked like right about level 8, 9, 10. Um, realistically what you're gonna see is that since we didn't open the rogue tree very early I think we opened it right around level 9 you'll probably have taken some I think about 11 or 12 points in Harper and here's why. Click here this is Harper for, here it is, uh, Harper for into damage, uh, no, into, into hit, and then we continue through because we do want to get the into damage, so I'm still dumping points to get there, toughness, 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 and then here's the into damage. So you're going to have spent 12 points pretty much right away just to get your crossbows doing it to damage in lieu of having taken anything in the mechanic tree which we didn't open until about level 9. So right around level 8, 9, 10 you're already going to have 43 points spent without even having touched the mechanic tree. But now that we know it's open we go mechanic and I'm going to take as much as I can without even bothering on Tanglefoot. I don't use it and I didn't go level 6 rogue so I'm never even going to work my way to targeting sites. So I'll click here. I want the great crossbow damage. I want more crossbow damage. Um, I want that leg shot. 
I want the leg shot. I love all of these tier fives, so I'm gonna see if I can work my way up there. I'm gonna go skill boost. Two points for some intelligence. More crossbow. Is this the open lock? Yeah, we'll take those because we're really trying to work our way up into these tiers. I'll uh, just grab the UMD. There it is. Crossbow. Int. Leg shot. The returning missiles. It's good. There it is. And I opened up the tier fives. So, sharpshooter, plus three hit damage with all crossbows. What was that? Crossbows? No, yeah. Okay, and one sneak attack die. We're going to get all the rapid fire double shot stuff. I'm going to take the sniper. And I'm going to take the mechanic reloader. So there's 39 points, and I didn't even have to waste anything on getting Tangle Foot. In some builds, I will take the time bomb. It's actually really handy, so I'll put the points in now. But if you need to sack those for somewhere else, you could leave it off. Especially an Epic's time bomb doesn't doesn't hit too hard. One point left. Uh, probably Battle Engineer, Double Strike and Double Shot, because I will be having a Rune Arm on. So I'll click that. If you wanted to take two points out of the time bomb and up that a little bit, or maybe grab this extra intelligence, then you can go there too. So I'll click accept. Now this is this is the build, it's done. And I'm going to click the form export, and now it'll show me a breakdown of everything I put together in the planner. Starting at level one, and it shows each class that I took at each level and the feat that I took. So you can go back and change your feats around, switch up what you took at certain levels, and then it also gives a good list of which enhancements you took in the enhancement trees. So you can copy the clipboard and then paste it in notepad or in an email to yourself or whatever you need to do. Uh, last thing to note is I did recall it's the class button. If you click class you can switch your classes to back and forth so it, it, let's say I didn't want to take that rogue at 9 I just switch over to art and I wanted to take it at 7 this is a good way to determine exactly when you want to take those levels um, maybe I wanted to go straight to 15 so there we go at 15 I grabbed my deadly weapons and then I started my rogue So when you do that, it does show you that there are certain feats that you couldn't take. These are probably the class feats for uh, Artificer. And this show error button will attempt to list to you exactly, yeah, illegal feat, improved construct. But that's just a crash course about how this thing works and how you can put together builds without having to actually go through the game for days and days and then find out that something was wrong. This is Joe B with the Character Planner, and I hope this helped you. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you soon.